subscribe to this podcast to get exclusive access to the after show shooting the breeze welcome to the cool exploration podcast uh, i'm your host tony peters today we will be looking at socialism and how it is creeping into our society and destroying the foundations that we were founded upon and First, we really need to take a look at socialism and what socialism is. Um, And it is, according to Erwin W. Lutzer, it is uh, statism. That is the one word that describes it, which is the supremacy of the state over the individual. It's when the government takes ownership of the means of production and promises to redistribute wealth in what is claimed to be a fair-minded way. On the surface, this means, uh, this looks like an attractive solution to poverty and fiscal insecurity. We remember the Occupy Wall Street movement, whose slogan can be summed up with, let Wall Street pay. And it seems like an option that is too good to pass up. But when you really look at it, uh, it breaks down into things that really destroy our foundation and They're all about, as I said in in previous podcasts, about equality, and yet uh, somebody has to be on top, and there is still always your top class and your lower class, which is how society is uh, and will always be. Uh, Someone is always going to be in charge over other people. People are going to own businesses or run businesses that the government runs or and puts them in place uh, in charge of. And that person is now above the other people. So not equal. Uh, Equality is a myth. Uh, It is a false belief that will never be accomplished uh, until the Lord comes back. Uh, Because as I said, someone has to be on top. Someone has to be in charge. Um, And when you look at the way Karl Marx wanted it, his philosophy was that there is a matter of final reality or materialism, and there is no God nor a human soul that survives the death of the body. He believes in economic forces to propel, using economic forces to propel history ever onward and upward. Uh, capitalism is basically the thought of as a disease and socialism he says is secure but really it's capitalism but with only a few people in charge and only a few people making all that money uh which is exactly what Karl Marx wanted uh there was private property was considered to be evil according to Marx um and that's because he wanted to control it and governments now use that uh, as a way that they can control things as we've seen in China and uh in russia more and more uh, but russia it had fallen and now we're seeing it creep back and we are taking this example and we are using it for now our own selves which is destroying what we set up our country on in canada in in the us uh, in europe there's many countries that were founded on that and what it's doing is it's destroying christianity and any religion it doesn't want any religion to to be in power or in charge uh it doesn't want any religion to even um be get, get, getting ties from anybody no no the government wants that money for itself so it can be in control of who gets it so instead of the churches and charity and all the churches that help charities that's going to be that that wants to be kiboshed. He wants to destroy that so that society as a whole is under his thumb, is under the government's thumb and the government can then decide who is going to get that money. And if you aren't cooperative, well, you're not going to get that money. Um, so Lenin was quoted as saying, we cannot be free if one half the population is enslaved in the kitchen. Instead, what they want is the entire population enslaved to a very select few um so yeah they 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 falsely project this um thing of it being freedom and it being it being um the the right for for many to have have equal rights to money 
but that's not actually what it is. That is a complete myth. Myth. It is a, a complete false uh, uh, falsity. So we really need to just be very, very careful. It claims to have colossal society, and yet, really, like I said, there is a upper class, and that is the people with money and the ones in control over the many. So there will just be a select few in that upper class. Everybody else will be in the lower class. And we have seen how the lower class live in communist countries like North Korea and uh, formerly South Korea uh, and China and those kind of places when they had communism in power and still have communism power in some of these countries. It destroys the, everybody else who can't find a way to really um, work up the ladder. There's no there's no drive to actually work anywhere because you're not going to do anything. You're not going to get anywhere. It's just that select few and whoever they select is going to be in, in power and in charge. Um, they want to see capitalism as greed and socialism as, as based on needs, but that's not what it actually does. It's the exact opposite. Um, like I said, it is enslaving the many instead of, instead of, having it so just a few people or just people can try to work their way up uh, as we have in North America, they can work their way up. You can start from the bottom uh, with having no money and you can become rich. If you work hard and you really fight to make a difference uh, or get somewhere, you can do that. Uh, and yet with socialism, that would never happen. Um, and they um, state that uh, God-given rights aren't actually God-given rights. There's no, there is no God-given rights. It's government-given rights. That's what they want. They want to be in control. They want to create those rights. And you need to follow those rights or we are going to destroy you. Um, and you're going to be ostracized from society. Um, so Chester, Chesterton, um, has described it this way. Uh, he says it is only by believing in God that we can ever criticize the government. Once abolish the God and the government becomes the God. The truth is that irre irreligion is the opium of the people. So, um, as I said, yes, the government then replaces God figures. The government becomes the one in power over everyone, and you are at their whim and their beck and call, and you can do nothing about it. There is no democracy. Um, there's no real freedom. You are a subject and a slave to the government and whatever they want. And that is going to be um, materialistic for the, the upper class. And it's going to be uh, no religion. It's going to be very, very anti-God in, in every single way. Um, and they want to project capitalism as being corrupt, which some parts are corrupt. Um, but they, they want to... You export the exploit the poor is what they really want to do um and the poor are always going to be the poor um there is no making money um because the government controls that money uh and they want to they, they always try to do a revolution where they take over the rich people and they rise the poor people but um at the end that's not at all what it does um because the upper people are um, corrupt in, in socialism. They are very corrupt. Uh, and they never, ever actually do what they have said that they're going to do. They simply do whatever they want to do. And once they have power through revolution, you then find out this isn't what I thought it was. And so we really need to be protecting against this. They're going to come after Christians. They're going to come after the church. They blame capitalism for 
all the problems of the world. Um, and yet um, we see more problems in socialist countries and we see people have no rights. You can be thrown in jail for the stupidest things. And once you're in jail, they will beat the crap out of you. There is no human right. You are garbage to them. That is socialism. The government views you as garbage, dirt to be trampled on and under put underfoot. That is exactly what they want is that control over you in every aspect and you will lose every right that you have. And part of what they're using to, to do this is to push climate change um, and falsely state that the scientific evidence behind science, um, climate change, which I'm not saying there hasn't been a climate change. What I'm saying is that a lot of that is a natural shift in, in the world's cycles. Um, that is not to say we should not respect the environment because I believe that it is an atrocity what people are doing to the environment right now, all the garbage everywhere and the garbage that washes up on the shores is despicable. Um, we are called to respect this world that God has given us. So I'm not saying don't respect the environment. I am saying we need to respect the environment, but we cannot allow this push of climate change, and, which they're using to destroy our capitalist countries. They're destroying our foundations using this as a tool to destroy. So we need to be open and really look at what climate change really is. God gave us the world um, with nature and animals um, and all the beauty that, that God has put on this earth through creation. Uh, we're to use it responsibly. We are to be the keepers of this world. Um, and that that really is not necessarily what they really want with climate change um, because you see those who are pushing climate change aren't actually doing the things that they're demanding the rest of society do they it's um don't do as don't do what i do is basically what it is like it's it's do as i say not not what i do and that is is not the way that the bible preaches the bible preaches that we are to set an example and we are to live lives that can be an example to the world. And socialism would not be projecting that because that would give Christians um, too much power, in, uh, as they would call it, um, because we would have the power to impact change, real change in people's lives through the organizations that Christians run the many charities worldwide or locally that are run, the soup kitchens, the um, Salvation Armies, um, and, and the programs to bring water and medicine to people around the world and help poor people who are around the world. Um, and in many communist countries, they have killed millions of people just to accomplish their goal and to get people under their thumb and get people doing what they want them to do and that is not how a christian foundation would would operate and they've also used covid 19 as a way to really push this it's been an excuse to get people so they're not working there um they are um enslaved as we were putting it before to the government now because the government sends them their paychecks. And those paychecks, um, they come with strings attached, as now you owe the government. Um, and now you, you are dependent on the government. You don't have control of your own life because the government could take those bailouts away at any time. They could take your, your, your free money away at any time. Um, and people are finding paying those, what they've gotten back um, has not been as easy as they were told it would be. In fact, it's been very, very tough for a lot of people to pay them back because they don't have a job. And now if they don't have a job, well, they're now going to get welfare checks, which further enslaves them to the government. So COVID-19 and these pandemic um, things, another excuse 
to gain control, to take control of the people. That is what they want. They do not want you to realize exactly what they are doing. They want you to voluntarily give up your rights and freedoms. They want you to not believe in, in heaven or hell. They because they want to have that control over every aspect of your life, including your afterlife. They want you to think that there is nothing to live for after this. Um, because if you did, you would have hope. And I'm telling you, there is hope. Jesus has said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. And that is what we need to pay attention to. Jesus Christ is our Savior not the government. That's not who should have control. Jesus Christ should have control of our lives. We should follow God and his commandments, and we should follow the Great Commission to bring the word of God to all nations. And the Bible does not see color. The Bible does not see race. The Bible doesn't see gender. The Bible just sees people. Every man is equal in the eyes of God. We just need to choose to follow God and the commandment, the Ten Commandments, and the many, many things that Jesus has asked us to do, that Jesus has has commanded us with love. And love is at the root of everything where socialism, hate is at the rule of everything. So just remember that you can do all things through him, through Jesus Christ. He strengthens you, as it says in Philippians 4.13. And he will not give you more than you can handle. And Marxism and socialism is not going to accomplish our Christian beliefs. It's not going to help society as Christianity does. It is going to destroy. It is Satan's tool being used to destroy our societies. So protect yourselves, protect your families, pray, study the Bible, go to church, find a church that actually studies the Bible. Pay attention to what the preacher is preaching and think, does it line up with what the Bible says? Because there are many false preachers out there that you have to be careful of. Um, and socialism is using that. Um, and that's going to be an excuse for them to destroy us. So strengthen yourselves, stand firm. Remember, there's hope in Jesus Christ. Well, I have just been uh, blessed with so many people who are requesting to be on the show. And I'm impressed with how many people want to share their testimonies or what they're doing uh, for the Lord right now. Uh, if I haven't got back to you, I promise I will get back to you. Uh, I look forward to, to speaking with each of you and interviewing you. And uh, keep tuning into the show. There, there's lots of, of new people that are coming on here. And if you're considering uh, wanting to, to come on the show, uh, just shoot me an email at tpeters745 at gmail.com. And uh, I will get back to you.